what's up guys this is moto vlog 18 i believe <laughs> i didn't check before we started shooting this one but here we are just got off work uh taking a little ride on donna to test these rear shocks out so far they they feel pretty good um a little bit stiffer uh it's probably how i have it set up obviously i didn't read any instructions they did not come with any so yeah i didn't set up rear sag or anything like that i just put them where i want them and kind of will adjust as we go but one of the topics that i wanted to bring up that i have not yet in the moto vlog was where my name came from my username obviously uh first name is john uh last name is trip t-r-i-p-p -P. and back in the day I used to build uh, street strip cars, and that was my hobby. Uh, that was my passion, and and they were Fox Body Mustangs and a couple uh, SN95 Mustangs. Had turbo cars, all motor cars, carbureted cars, and eventually, uh, what got me off of doing that nonsense. <laughs> was hang on one second let's take off from this start oh there's a truck back on the subject uh, what what got me away from doing that was I had a 89 LX uh, it had a 342 which is just stroke no bore uh, built motor and we had a nice set of aluminum heads on it it actually had a uh, C4 manual valve body transmission in it with trans brake and that car was a lot of fun. It had the uh, suspension completely built, EPR, front and rear, tubular K-member, all the good stuff. And on a Pro Systems car, it made right at, I think it was 400, 402, 403 foot-pounds of torque at the at rear wheels. So uh, that's saying a lot, given pump gas motor, small cubic inches, you know, under 350. So that car was fun and it was completely built. I mean, it strange 33 spline axles in it. Um, like I said, the EPR stuff, transmissions built. And what happened was I was destroying uh, input shafts and the splines would just go. So. There was a time period where I actually had three uh, transmissions within like a couple weeks fail uh, in that. So I said, screw it. I'm getting... Ooh, that was a big backfire. I said, screw it. Uh, getting back into bikes. Ended up fixing the trans so the next owner would have it. Uh, selling selling it right away I, I gave it away so somebody would come and get it and went and bought an r6 and this was i want to say 2000 six, seven, eight, somewhere in there and I haven't looked back man motorcycles are the greatest thing in the world you can do little things to them and they're so much fun they're so much fun if you get the right bike stock anyway so but yeah there was a little page that when i lived in north carolina uh, this was back before social media was big, you know, because Instagram's huge now. I, I found so many companies and, you know, what people are doing to bikes. You, you can kind of see that now. But back in the day, all we had was forums. And this forum is still alive and kicking in, in, in North Carolina. It's, it's horsepowerjunkies.com. You can check it out. I'll throw something up, throw a link in there. But... But yeah, that's kind of kind of where I came up with my name from for the for the channel was was through that and and horsepower junkies, man, it 
great group of guys that run it um great buy sell forums uh, there's great sponsors on there so Ooh, this thing's so much fun <laughs> But yeah, that's where the name come from. It was a little video I've been wanting to do for a while. It'll be a short moto vlog. I try to keep them under four or five minutes. I try to keep you guys watching and don't want to let you down. So as always, guys, hit like, hit subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. And take it easy. See you on the next one.